All right, guys, so I was just out and about. I don't even have my Voltron shirt on. I was just out and about, and I thought to myself, man, it might be a good idea just to pull everything out of my garage, talk about the projects that I have, the companies that I'm working with to put these projects together. If I have a discount code for those companies, I will mention it, and I'll also put their website in the description below. So I'm gonna pull this stuff out. We're gonna talk about the projects, the future of the channel for the next six months or so. And if you don't know, I just got back from Electroland. That's the headquarters for Electro and Company. Pretty big company in this space, doing great things. And I'm gonna to touch on the things that we covered, the topics that we went over, maybe some bloopers and stuff like that. Uh, should be a fun episode, just a little bonus, middle of the week drop. Stay tuned, y'all. Starting with the Red Bull bike here, this bike I just dropped a video on Saturday, and this one is from Midwest Mini Mods with the swing arm and the fork kit. Like, I'll drop a link below for the video on this. It's an Amherst battery, 240 amps, 72 volts. Soshin FW11 motor and the shock is also from Midwest Mini Mods. If you guys are in the market for any of those components, Midwest Mini Mods has a discount code. It is Voltron at checkout and it'll save you $120 on the whole swing arm. Check that video out, y'all. This is an SX500 and it is not going to look like this for long. This bike right here is going to get taken apart. I'm taking the Soshin FW01 out of this bike and I'm going to reuse it in this MX frame over here with my custom made swing arm from Royce Ramirez. And what I'm going to do too is take these RSF wheels and tires off. I'm going to put these Supermotos on there. So the components on this SX are going to go on the MX. This SX is then going to turn into a stock-ish SX500. We're going to put the 10-inch wheels on it. We're going to put Supermotos on there from Kendra. And I'm working on the swing arm right now for it to accept a couple parts that I got from Electrocycle Garage. The swing arm extensions from Electrocycle Garage these pegs are actually going to go on this bike right here. That's going to look fly. And one other thing from Electrocycle Garage that's going to go on this bike are these axles. Check these suckers out, man. Too bad they get hidden inside the hub, but golly, those things are incredible. It's going to have a Electro and Company, probably the little bit kit in there and that's one of their uh offerings on the website check out electro and company they also have a discount code it is winners circle to save five percent off your entire order at electro and company over here i had briefly mentioned this bike right here this one is going to have the Soshin fw11 in it it's going to have this 96 volt battery in there i gotta get a well, I have a 96 volt controller, but I want to get a more powerful 96 volt controller. The one I have is a 96 680, and I want to get something uh, something more powerful than that. These forks are ride or die forks. I'll keep these forks on here. This is uh, Jacob Youngblood's company. Check them out. The discount code for ride or die is I am ride or die, and that's a 10% off your your purchase at ride or die. Moving on to the E Move. Roadrunner. This is one of my favorite bikes, guys. Uh, it's a dual hub motor bike, and I've done a video on this. I'm trying to bring these bikes to popularity in the United States on the modification side. It's going to get a Suron battery that's 60 volts. It's a, like I said, dual hub, 500 in the rear, 300 watts in the front. It's going to eventually have 5,000 in the rear, 5,000 in the front. Uh, beautiful forks here from Econic Cycles. Check out Econic Cycles for your Fido, your Roadrunner type stuff. They got hub motors, direct drive motors, and they do have a discount code actually too. It is Voltron5 at checkout, and you'll save 5% on your entire order. And also too, I have a Crazy Cart, the Crazy Cart XL. It's been taking up some room in my garage. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this project, to be honest with you, in the next six months. I got a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, this thing's already wired up for 48 volts and I rode it and I'll tell you what, it's fun. It's also a death trap. Moving over here, this is just a little Gen 1 that I have, a little 350. It's just uh, my daughter's, she's five. Doesn't ride it yet, it's got a flat tire on it. 
I gotta put some work into this. Probably just keep this stock for a while. And over here is a pocket mod. My plan for this was to put a Kunray 1020 in it, but then I thought, man, maybe I could put a uh, Socian FW11 in there and make a sleeper out of it, which I might still do. Uh, not pictured here today is the E-Box. The E-Box is going to have a video made on it here in the near future with a controller upgrade from Electro and Company that should get uh, about another 10 miles an hour just on the controller upgrade itself. So stay tuned for that. These are my kids' bikes over here. It's my wife's Rambler. And thinking about maybe doing a 60 volt on that, maybe doing a hub motor in the rear, just kind of keeping it, keeping it more stockish, giving it a little more speed, a little more range. This is my, uh, my seven-year-old bike. It's got a 48 volt battery in it, an orange battery with uh, stock components otherwise. And this is my daughter's RSF with the, with the MX wheels. That's just got a beaver kit in it. Gets her to the park, gets her to a friend's house, everything you need. And like I mentioned earlier, I did go to Electroland and here's some footage from Electro and Company, some bloopers, some behind the scenes stuff, some things we get coming out. Stay tuned guys, I got my work cut out for me as far as the content creation and the putting these things together. Love you guys. Bye. And whenever you're ready, we're both in frame. We both look good? Uh, you look better. Does he look good? Yeah, he looks good. How do I, do I look okay? Yeah, yeah you know it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, that's a quick look at Electro and Company, the property, and some of the people that work here that make these parts and the builds that we do possible. Hello. Hi there. Hi. 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 How are you doing? How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi there. <laughs> you ready? How do we look? Beautiful. How's he look? Uh, pretty good. Man, he looks good. How do I look, though? That's the most important uh... part. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am here with Manny from Quasar E-Moto. Manny is a bike builder, a custom bike builder, and I wanted to have him on the channel today because he has a wealth of knowledge in this up-and-coming technology of the electric motorcycles. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I am here at the Argyle Motocross track and I am joined by Austin and Josh from Electro & Company. Today we're gonna to talk about these brand new YZ EMX dirt bikes that they have coming out. This one here is kind of special. This is the one that started the whole thing for Electro & Company. I'm a Oh, you're scared. 